ahead and take length. For your folding, divide round lap by 2 plus 3 to 4 or 5 inches sewing allowance. Make sure your fabric is being folded into two. On the waist point, go in by one and a half inch for shaping allowance. Now, take point. The first point is your waist point but that is already sitting on the top of the fabric so the next point is your hip point then your crotch point then your knee point followed by the length Now, divide your round waist by 4 and chalk this down from the 1.5 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance. Next, divide your round hip by 4 and chalk this down plus one inch sewing allowance. Next is your round lap. This is divided by two. After chucking this down, add two inches sewing allowance. This is compulsory. To get your middle point, place your tape on your crotch point where your round lap is seated and calculate what you have there. Divide this by 2 and chalk on the new point and on the base. Divide your round knee by 2. Whatever number you get, you chalk that from the middle point to the left and to the right. Example, my round knee is 21. 21 divided by 2 gives you 10 and half. You divide 10 and half by 2 gives you 5 and quarter. So you chalk 5 and quarter to the left, 5 and quarter to the right. On the base, you'll be repeating the same thing you did on the new point. Chalk the middle point, which is seven and a half. Now, divide your round base by two, and whatever number you get, divide that by two again and chalk to the left and to the right. Go ahead and connect all points. For your back piece, cut out fabric 2 to 3 inches more than what you used for your front piece. Now, place your front piece on this fabric. Go ahead and add one and a half inch to all measurements.
make sure that the crotch points on the front piece and on the back piece is sitting on the same line. On the back piece, place your tape and go in by 8 inches as a point. Now take 1 inch to where the 8 inches is sitting. This is where you'll be attaching your zip. For the front piece that, place your tape and go in by 3.5 inches and then go down by one and a half inch. So I went ahead to cut out fabric already for the pocket, length 13 inches width 7 inches go in by one and a half inch then go down by seven inches connect both points together and cut this out Place pocket fabric on the front piece, right side facing right side. Trace out the 1.5 inches on the front piece and cut this out. Then go sew. Instead of top stitching, I will be using my hemming gum to hold this together. So by quarter an inch to hold this together. So by quarter an inch to hold this together. Now place your back piece on your front piece, right side facing right side and sew on the wrong side. On the crotch part you sew by half an inch, on the pocket side you sew by one inch straight down. Place the two different parts together and sew on the crotch part by half an inch. 
Remember not to close in the 8 inches you have for your zip allowance. So I added 3 inches to my round waist to get the length of my band. For the width, 5 inches, folded in half inch on the top and on the base. Now you place your band on the wrong side of the trouser and sew in the half inches first. You fold it to the right side and sew in the half inch. Now go ahead and attach your zip. For the base of the trouser, go ahead and sew then hem with your hemming gum.